Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad. This is the Firefighters Financial Toolbox. If you're new here and you haven't already subscribed, hit the red subscribe button, ring the bell, you'll get notified every time I make a video. I try to make a couple a week. Uh, today we're going to talk about two very famous index funds that uh, are really popular among index investors and we're going to compare the differences between them. The two we're going to talk about are Fidelity Total Stock Market Index Fund. That's tip ticker FSKAX and we're going to compare it to the big one everybody knows and that's the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund ticker VTSAX. And we're going to talk about the differences, we're going to talk about the similarities and we're going to decide which one's better choice for you and why. First of all if we look at the two they're both total United States stock market funds. They're both designed to basically cover 80 percent of all the total stock market now, as you know, index funds always follow an index. Depending on which index they cover, it may differ in exactly what their holdings are. So let's first talk about FSKAX, the Fidelity Total Market Index Fund. Uh, first of all, it has a very low expense ratio of 0.15% or 1.5 basis points, you guys. That means you're paying $1.50 on $10,000 of invested money very inexpensive. FSKAX seeks to provide results corresponding to the broad range of the United States stocks. The fund invests at least 80% of its in common stocks in the United States in the Wilshire 5000 Total Stock Market Index, which represents a broad range of U.S. stocks. Now, let's talk about our second Vanguard Total stock market index ticker VTSAX. VTSAX tracks the CRISP the CRSP US total stock market index and designed to provide investors exposure to the entire US stock market and it covers virtually all US investable stocks. As of February 21st of this year the fund has assets totaling almost $909 billion and has invested in almost 3,600 different companies. Now, in comparison to FKSAX, which holds also about 3,500 companies. So, very similar in that respect. Now, VTSAX has a expense ratio of 0.04%, so four basis points. Basically, you're paying $4 on 10000 Now, let's take a look at the differences in how they've performed. If we look at five-year returns, we see that VTSAX has beat it by a little bit, 6.13% compared to 6.12%, but it does have, FKSAX does have a lower expense ratio. They're both passively managed index funds in that they track their index and keep it. If we look at the holdings for SKSAX, we see Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Berkshire Hathaway, Alphabet, that's Google, A shares and C shares, JP Morgan Chase, Johnson Johnson, and Visa. Now, if we look at the VTSAX holdings, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Alphabet A, Alphabet C, Berkshire Hathaway, Johnson & Johnson, JP Morgan Chase, and Visa. The exact same 10 companies, you guys. Now, there's a little difference. One makes up about 20%, and in VTSAX, it makes up about 19.67%. So a little bit different in their numbers, but not too big. Now, We've talked about index funds. One thing to remember with index funds, if you're investing in VTSAX, you do have a $3,000 minimum investment to start the account, where with Fidelity and FSKAX, you do not have that minimum. But what if you prefer to use an ETF? Well, with the Vanguard VTSAX, you can easily use the ETF equivalent, which is VTI. It's exactly the same fund, only in an ETF version. Now, Fidelity doesn't have a large line of ETFs. In fact, the, what they do offer, though, is the iShares ETF line. And their equivalent to the total stock market is ITOC, which is the iShares 
total S&P US stock market ETF. And they're gonna track pretty close, not exactly, but pretty close. Now, both of those ETFs have low expense ratios, 0.03% each, so very inexpensive. If we look at the charts, you see that they all track pretty much the same. Uh, which one's better? Well, that depends. If you've already got a, if you've already got an account with Vanguard, I say VTSAX is a better option. If you already have an account with Fidelity, FSKAX is a great option. They're both low cost. They both track pretty much exactly the same indexes, although they're different, minusculely. In the long run, you're both. They're both going to give you similar uh, returns. And as we said, uh, if you like ETFs instead, Vanguard has the VTI as an option. And at Fidelity, you can get the iShares, ITOT, ITOT, uh, without any commissions. Uh, so similar options. Really, there's no better answer. There's comparisons. They both track within a half a percent of each other or less over the long term, you guys. Now, in short-term volatility, you may have a little bit difference in what's going on. But over the long haul, which we should all be long-term investors, right? Long-term investing is what wins the race. Uh, both of these are good options for everybody out there that is considering wanting a broad single fund to cover the U.S. stock market. All right, you guys, hope you got something out of this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. As I said, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Every, every subscriber helps. All right, you guys, we'll see you again. Thanks.